we got freely from uh, Animal Shelter in Seattle. His owner had kept him in a crate for the first year of his life and he went kind of crazy and he stopped eating. If we wouldn't have found him, he was scheduled to be put down. He went from kind of a nervous wreck uh, to having a job and run around the woods and you know, chasing his ball and frisbee and all that fun stuff. And I don't think he could be happier. And he's off working already. What we train the dogs for is to look for scat of usually endangered species. Um, so then we can study these animals without ever capturing them, you know, causing any undue stress on them. We started working with the conservation canines this year and it's an outgrowth of a climate change project we have in, in northern New Mexico. The Jemez Mountains are an area where we believe that the warming and drying is happening at a faster rate. In 2011, we had the largest fire in New Mexico history at that point, and it was 156,000 acres in the Jemez Mountains. It was actually a big shock to everybody. One of the animals at risk to those changes is the Jemez Mountain salamander. The salamander only comes out during the summer rains, and because it's small and hides under rocks and logs, it's hard for people to detect. Uh, we go to places with crews and, and search, but we're not very efficient at it. So we learned about the work of the conservation canines and invited them to come join us this year to see if the dogs might help us become better searchers for salamanders. There's no bias in their search methods. They just, they're running around and when they smell the odor, there's nothing that's gonna stop them from finding it. And... We see this as a fantastic example of nature helping nature. We're learning so much about how dogs sense the environment and now we're giving them this terrific job, which is to help us preserve a unique part of our natural heritage. By us doing a better job of finding the salamander and understanding better what its habitat needs are, it will accelerate the larger concern that we have about restoring forests at a big scale. So the dogs, the little salamander, the work that we all do together can actually have an impact on how the Hamas mountains and the forests in them are able to continue to adapt to the changing climate.